The Assassination of Gandhi Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, revered as the great soul of India and a staunch advocate for the Indian independence movement, met a tragic end on January 30, 1948, at the age of 78. His life was cut short during a prayer vigil in New Delhi when he was assassinated by Nathuram Godza, a Hindu extremist. Despite this tragic event, Gandhi's legacy endured, as his strategies of civil disobedience continued to influence and inspire civil rights leaders around the globe. For nearly five decades, Mahatma Gandhi, born on October 2, 1869, dedicated his life to the cause of India's independence from British rule. He employed strategies of civil disobedience, peaceful protests, fasting, boycotts, and marches in his quest for freedom. Central to his philosophy was Satyagraha, or Truth Force, a nonviolent form of political resistance, explicitly rejecting the use of violence in any form. Gandhi faced numerous arrests and imprisonments for his unwavering commitment to these principles. He welcomed Britain's decision to partition India in 1947, resulting in the creation of two independent nations, India and Pakistan. However, the aftermath of the partition was marked by a tragic turn of events. A violent religious conflict erupted between Hindus and Muslims, leading to the displacement of over 15 million people and causing an estimated 2 million deaths. The unintended consequences of the partition served as a somber reminder of the complex challenges that can arise in the pursuit of freedom. Seeking to foster harmony between Hindus and Muslims, Gandhi journeyed to New Delhi, actively engaging in fasting vigils and prayer meetings. Tragically, it was during one such gathering that Nathuram Godze, disregarding the message of peace, fired three shots at the leader at point-blank range, targeting his abdomen and chest. Gandhi's granddaughters, who were often referred to as his walking sticks, stood by his side as this heinous act unfolded. Pronounced dead shortly after the attack, Gandhi's final moments were marked by a touching scene, standing with joined palms uttering, He Ram, He Ram, translated in English as, Oh God, Oh God, before slowly falling to the ground. The atmosphere was charged with confusion and panic as smoke filled the air. The Mahatma lay on the ground, his head resting in the laps of his granddaughters, his white shawl of Australian wool now stained crimson with blood. His passing occurred at 5.17 p.m. The immediate aftermath saw Godzi swiftly apprehended by the crowd and subsequently arrested. In a chilling statement to a reporter, Godzi expressed an unapologetic stance, saying, For the present I only want to say that I am not at all sorry for what I have done. The rest I will explain in court. Notably, ten days before the fatal shooting, Godze, along with his brother Gopal Godze and other conspirators, had attempted to assassinate Gandhi through a bombing attack. During the trial, Godze took over five hours to read a 30,000-word statement and confession, asserting that the murder was wholly and exclusively political. He blamed Gandhi for being the father of Pakistan and held him responsible for the suffering of the Hindu people. Nathuram Godze, born in 1910, was the assassin of Mahatma Gandhi. He had a modest background, working various jobs after dropping out of high school. Godze adopted the right-wing Hindutva ideology and became associated with the RSS and later joined the Hindu Mahasabha political party. Alongside Narayan Dattatraya Apte, he founded the Marathi newspaper Agrani, later named Hindu Rashtra. In 1949, at the age of 39, Godze and Apte were sentenced to death and hanged for their roles in Gandhi's assassination. Gopal Godze, Nathuram's brother, reiterated Nathuram's views, claiming that Gandhi's nonviolent movement was perceived as a plot to allow Hindus to be slaughtered by Muslims. This tragic incident underscored the deep ideological divisions present during that period. The news of Gandhi's assassination spread rapidly across India, triggering violent riots in Bombay. On the night of the tragic event, Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, in a radio broadcast, declared a national day of mourning. He announced a cremation ceremony scheduled for the following day, January 31, 1948, on the banks of the sacred Jumna River. The global community mourned Gandhi's death, with newspapers worldwide carrying the shocking news. 
U.S. President Harry S. Truman acknowledged Gandhi's international significance. To conclude, this video highlighted the tragic assassination of Mahatma Gandhi and the enduring impact of his commitment to nonviolence and civil disobedience. We explored the complexities of India's pursuit of independence, the ideologies behind Gandhi's killer, and the global reactions to his death. We appreciate your engagement in this exploration of history and hope it sparks further reflection on the profound legacy of Mahatma Gandhi. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.